Good morning, it's Jill from Go For Growth. This is just a really quick tutorial video to walk through step-by-step -step the new supplier registration to the Your Procure um, portal. It was known as Your Tender and it has recently, in December 2021, moved over to the Mercell system. So you will see initially that this is the URL for Your Tender. It is uk.eu-supply.com. And once you're on the home screen, you will go to the new supplier registration uh, part. So if we click into there, it will bring you into a new window. So if we walk through each of the boxes, select the type of organization that you are, um, and then select your trading name. So all things procurement limited is the one I'm going to use for the test today. So if you have any queries in terms of what are they actually asking me for, if you click onto the uh, question mark, it will tell you uh, exactly what they are requiring. So you're after an organisation number for all things procurement. If you don't know what that organisation number is, you can search on Companies House. So all you would do is put in a search, all things procurement, Companies House, and it will bring up an overview of that organization at Companies House and the company registration number is there. If you're not a limited company, um, you might put your VAT registration number in there. If you're neither a limited company or VAT registered, you would just simply type NA in that field. Now your DUNS code or DUNS number as it's known, it's a unique number that is uh, just for your organization. Um, every organization should have a DUNS number you can find it from the Dun & Bradstreet website. They have a lookup that you can use. So if you go on to dmb.co.uk, which is here in the, in the URL field, put the organization name in and click search. So we'll have a look, all things procurement limited. Um, it will bring up the details of that organization. You'll click to say you're not a robot and you'll search for it and it will bring the organization up below. If that's the right one, you would select it and it will bring some further information up. Um, so you can see here, if I just close that down, you would then put your information in and the email that you want your DUNS number sending to and you would click submit and that will email your DUNS number um, over to you. So once you have that, have that, if you put that in the DUNS code box, you would then move on to whether you're a small to medium enterprise, tick that if you are, put your address and postcode details in, and then a brief description of what your business is. Your contact information is the main contact that's required for your organisation and that contact person also should be able to log in. Um, if you want that person to be able to log in, make sure that you copy that information into the administrator section, otherwise that company contact that's the main contact will not have login uh, ability. So if you choose which type of phone number it is, Put that phone number in there, your email address, and then if the if you want that main contact to be able to log in, simply copy the information over um, to below. You can select the preferred language. There is only English available at this point. And then um, if you then want to make up your username and a password. So if you get your password wrong in the sense that you're using characters that they won't allow, it won't let you um, actually use it. It will tell you, uh, but the password policy is here. Um, so I need to just take that off. I would advise everybody to read the terms and conditions and the privacy notice. I have read them before. Um, if you're happy with them, you would tick that you've read the terms and conditions and then accept. If you've got anything wrong, as in your username is not longer than six characters, the system won't allow you to register until you have put that right. So um, once you have cleared any queries out of the form, then you go through registration. 
this is the note that you will get and you will get a login link sent to the email that you used in the registration. And that is how to register for your procure or your tender.